Welcome to this offbeat review where today I'm talking about Liam Gallagher's latest tour show in Manchester at the newly opened Co-op Live Arena. Before the video starts, make sure you follow our socials in the description and subscribe so you never miss an episode. In this review, I'm going to be talking about Liam Gallagher, his support acts, the venue itself, and most importantly, we'll be showing you my live videos from the show. So this was my first time actually going to the Cope Live Arena as it is recently opened in Manchester, and it is absolutely massive. Luckily, being a City season ticket holder, I've kind of seen it been built from the start, and it has always looked big, but as soon as you walk into the main sort of reception area with all the bars, all the food outlets, you get a scope for how big the place actually is. It's like a stadium inside. It is huge. I mean, it's got escalators. How many arenas in the world can actually say it's got escalators to go from floor to floor? Big benefit for me for the Cope Live Arena is the location of it. It's so easy to get to. Luckily, it is on my side of Manchester to where I live, so it's, it's on the train route for me, so it's really simple for me to get there. But even if you're just travelling there from the centre of town, it's so quick. So I went with my friend Jared and we walked from Piccadilly Station, and it literally took us 20 minutes, if that, just along the canal, and it's really well signposted as well. So even if you're not from the city all you do is follow the blue lamppost along the canal and you'll get straight to the arena so the venue is sectioned off based on where you are sitting so it's got an entrance for the standing and an entrance for the two seating sections as well as we were walking up to the standing entrance the queues did look fairly long but as soon as we were in there they were constantly moving so it just meant we didn't have to wait a long time to get in which is a massive plus i know with some of the more smaller venues in manchester it can take a while for you to actually get into the venue itself but with a court wide it was just so streamlined and we were literally in within 10 minutes of starting queuing so if you are in standing for the co-op live arena as well you get a wristband which enables you to move across the whole venue so you can go up to the seating sections as well to have a little bit of a mooch around i obviously did that because i'm a bit nosy and to be honest with you if you're in the seating sections it's not as good as standing standing has so much more space so many more bars and so many more food outlets i've been looking to go to a few arenas up and down the uk but this standing section was the biggest i've ever seen literally no matter where you stand you're always going to get a good view of the stage certain parts of it did look a little bit rough and ready it has just recently opened and they are going to keep making changes to the venue as time goes on. A top tip for me for people going to future gigs who are standing is that there's actually self-serving pints inside the arena itself. Now with the self-serving they're literally just to the right of the standing area and there's zero queues when you go there. It took less than five minutes in order for you to get served. Now obviously the beer is extortionately expensive. I think it's about $8.95 for a pint but I suppose they made it a little bit better with being served quickly. But yeah, the costings in there are insane. I think a chicken burger is like 12, 13 quid. And it's just a chicken burger. It should never cost that much. If you are going to future gigs as well at the arena, I would definitely recommend you to walk back to town instead of getting the trams or using the shuttle buses. Luckily for us, we didn't need to because we got a lift home, but I can definitely see problems if you are trying to get a tram back into town. Another mention as well is when we were in the concourse, it is literally soundproof. You can't hear what's going on in the main arena, so make sure you are checking your times of actually on stage because we actually missed the start of cast just by talking to people and mainly because we couldn't hear that they had actually come on. Now, Liam was supported by Villanelle and also Cast. Unfortunately, we did get in a little bit later, so we basically missed the whole Villanelle set, so I won't be touching on them too much. We only saw one song, and they sounded good from what I heard, but I'm not going to judge them off one song. Cast, however, we saw in the majority of their set, we only missed the opening two songs, I believe. And this is the first time I've actually seen Cast live. People I work with have raved about Cast to me. They've seen them both doing acoustic and the normal shows, and I enjoyed them. I thought they were a very good support act. They had a very much sort of 90s style sort of like indie brick pop hybrid lead singer john power is front and center with his acoustic guitar and he's got his band in the background and the way i would describe him is if it ain't broke don't fix it they have their style of songs and they sounded very good as i said never properly listened to him but i did know a few of their more sort of popular songs and they were very popular with the crowd as well with them singing along if i'm going to nitpick a lot of the songs were quite samey but we are only seeing them on support act. they can only do a select amount of songs that they do have in their arsenal i definitely would see them for a full set just to see if they do ever change anything up they really set the crowd up ready for the main event which is Liam Gallagher now before I talk to you about Liam Gallagher and tell you my views on his performance I'm just going to leave my videos from a gig right here so you can just get a feel of what it was like on the night
Gotta say, Liam Gallagher sounded absolutely fantastic all night. He's really learned to look after his voice, which is good. Especially because I've seen videos from Nebworth. I weren't there myself, but I've seen videos where he sounded a little bit croaky. So he's obviously really looking after his voice nowadays, and it really showed. He sounded amazing all night. As a 25-year-old lad who's never seen Oasis live, that is probably the closest I'm ever going to see Oasis in my lifetime. It was class to hear some songs that I've never heard before as well, and that if, if he did a solo set... He definitely wouldn't play him. But so it was great to hear a bit of a vast array of songs. And especially some songs that I've grown up listening to and always thought, I'm probably never going to hear this live. So it was a great experience. Now, the opening was fantastic with him counting down the years. I'm sure everybody watching this review has seen his opening because it's all over TikTok, all over YouTube shorts. But yeah, in the arena, it's great. And as soon as Stone Roses come on with Iron Resurrection, the whole crowd knew the gig was about to start. And everybody was definitely up for it. Or should I say, definitely maybe up for it? Yeah, okay. To start off with Rock and Roll Star, straight into Columbia, straight into Shaker Maker, is a joke of a start to the gig. The crowd were absolutely going for it. You could just see a swarm of people just going from left to right, left to right. Also, there was a big, big variety in ages there. You had a lot of the older audience who have obviously seen Oasis live and were just sort of reliving their childhoods and their teenage years. And then you had people like me who never got the chance to sort of see Oasis live. As you would expect towards the sort of middle of a gig when they're playing more of the album songs rather than the singles, the crowd died down a little bit but he still sounded fantastic and the visuals all night were great as well. The stage is also fantastic. I can't wait to see what some of the acts that are booked to play the cult while we are going to do to that stage. Specifically Slipknot, I feel like if you go into Slipknot, you're going to be in for a right show. Also, the sound all night was so good. It was crisp. I imagine even if you sat in the furthest away seat, the sound levels were still insane. You can tell this arena was designed by artists for artists, especially with the sound quality. Now the encore. The encore had Supersonic, followed by Slide Away, followed by Live Forever. Is there a better encore out there? I honestly don't think so. In my eyes, arguably three of the best songs that Oasis have ever done. And we got to see them all in one encore. Now, because obviously the crowd did die down a little bit in the middle songs, it meant that when the encore came back on, the whole crowd went crazy. I do have to say, Slide Away for me is the best Oasis song. But what do you think is the best Oasis song? Is it on that Definitely Maybe album? Please do let me know in the comments down below. Now, I understand why he closed with I Am The Walrus due to Oasis doing that quite a lot of their career. And don't get me wrong, great song, great Beatles cover, and it's so hard to cover any Beatles song. And Oasis are probably the only band out there that really put their spin on it and made it work. But for me, I just felt like it didn't work as well as it possibly could have done. It is me nitpicking and it's just my personal opinion because a lot of the crowd loved it. But round me, a few of the crowd were actually leaving. And although it did sound great, I just thought you could have ended it on a better song. And I would have slapped Time the Walrus probably earlier on in the set. Now, what is Liam going to do next? Is he going to release another album? Is he going to stick to more of these sort of Oasis tribute shows to past albums? Although it is exceptionally unlikely and he only did this because it was the debut album, I'd love for him to do another tour next year, doing it for Morning Glory. It would be spectacular. 
in my opinion, I think that is the slightly better album. So I'd love to hear that in full. Whether I will ever get the chance to, it's probably going to be a no, but... I'd love for Liam to do another tour like this. If you were at the Manchester gig yourself or if you're at other tour shows, please do let me know how you found the shows and please comment your opinions down below. Let me know how you think it went, the song of the night and how you thought actually Liam sounded. If this is your first offbeat review and you like what you see, please do subscribe so you never miss a future one. If it is your first time here, please do check out my past content. I am predominantly a podcast channel, but I do gig reviews for every gig that I go to. If you are listening on Spotify, please do give me a five-star review. It really does help push the content out and make sure you do follow me on my socials that are in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.